Here's a 2015 Chrysler uh, 200S, all-wheel drive, 35,000 mile, one owner, clean Carfax, and billet silver. Uh, really a, a nice package here of amenities and capability with the all-wheel drive S. Uh, a little bit of a sport model is what that denotes. And I'll point out some of the differences you get with the S model. It starts right here in this headlight pod, actually. As you can see, you have a dark reflector behind that headlamp pod. Kind of a smoked out look which is nice as you can see you also have high def headlights there uh which is a nice feature you also have the leds fogs in the lower bumper fascia the s does give you the darked out kind of grill upper and lower fascias as you can see there as well uh kind of like i said gives that sport look gives you this wheel uh multi-spoke unique to the s model as you can see split spoke uh wheel also the tires on this are very nice uh, probably three quarters tread or so uh, you can see a nice shiny resurfaced rotor and thick brake pad as well. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that inspection signed up by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. As we look in through the passenger side front, you can see manual adjustment on that seat. But as you can see, the S model does give you the special embroidery. It gives you kind of this uh, bluish uh, tone. You have your leather bolsters on the outside, cloth insert on the inside. You can see two bucket seats, full console flows in between. You also have that same blue kind of steel blue uh, cues that run through the door panel there as well. So sharp lets you know that it is a, a different or a sport model. And this is in the midsize segment. You can see in the rear occupants uh, here, you have very ample leg, hip, and shoulder room in the back. Uh, also want to show you that these tires do match the front. They are about the same tread depth. As you can see, that uh, alloy wheel there is in good shape. No scuffs or scrapes. Continuing around to the back. I uh, just want to show you it is equipped with factory backup cameras. You can see there, of course, you can see that it is all-wheel drive, and it is a 200S model. Let's pop the trunk so you can take a look at uh, how much room you have there. Um, you can see it's very spacious. You have a 4060 fold down on your rear seat up there if you need a little more room. Underneath here will be your uh, spare tire jack tools, things of that nature, all located in the floor pan of the trunk there. Continue around to the driver's side again, just showing you the matching wheel and tire. Uh, same depth as the rest. And we'll give you a shot of the interior here from the driver's side. But you can see it's very clean. No rips, tears, stains, or odors. The previous owner was a non-smoker. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And as we look at the driver's side, now the driver's side, different from the passenger, is full power, including lumbar, as you can see there. Uh, and also, before I get into the interior tour, I'd like to show you the key fob. It is a proximity key. As you can see, not only, of course, is the trunk accessible and the locks, but you also have the factory remote start. And we do have two of these keys. Um, now, just to give you a kind of tour of where the buttons and controls are, we have your locks, your windows, and your mirrors all located right there on the door. Put our foot in the brake, press the start button. Here you see 35,588 miles. Uh, really cool looking dash too, I think. Uh, but let's continue the tour. You got your uh, headlamp control, push for your fogs, automatic headlamps. Ability to uh, dim your interiors and your cluster as well as another button for your power trunk release. I'm gonna stem to the left, your high beams and turn signals. To the right, your intermittent wiper washers. Uh, we got control pad here in the middle is actually gonna control your customizable dash. You can see some different items and whatnot as I scroll through. Uh, you can kind of set this up the way you like it, but you can see we got gauges, we got tire pressure monitoring, we got instant fuel economy, distance to empty, different trip uh, informations. All those things are accessible via this control pad right here. Uh, also below, we got your Bluetooth or hands-free. We got your cruise on the right. Um, now, as we look through the control, this is a big 8.4 inch touch screen. We got your AM, FM, and XM satellite radio. Also, as you can see here, we can connect your media devices, have your uh, USB audio or your Bluetooth capability so you can stay connected, play MP3 files. Uh, as you can see, we've got heated seats, heated steering wheel. This vehicle is very well loaded, nice feature there. Uh, also, of course, you can download some pre downloaded apps, as you can see there. Um, you know, got your iHeartRadio, Apple, Apple Play, things of that nature. Now on your climate control, as you can see, you have your dual slider. Also, you still have your buttons to access your heated seats and steering wheel there as well. And then this vehicle is equipped with your factory navigation, so it's well loaded up there. You can see the screen. And of course, you have the ability to pair a phone as well. 
has the automatic dimming rear view mirror with the SOS 911 call. If you're in trouble, we got illuminated visors here, as you can see well as well. Now your shifter is down here in the center console. If you put it to the S button, you can manually control any of the speeds of the nine speed transmission. You're gonna tap right to upshift, tap left to downshift, and you got these cool paddle shifters to do that with. So that's a nice touch. There's your manual controls for the radio or the climate if you prefer to use those over the touch screen. Got electronic parking brake there. Got your cup holders there. And in this console is where you find your uh, pre in your SD card, uh, you know, 12 volt power supply. You can see all of that in this little hidden compartment down here is all, all located. Uh, it's really kind of cool how the cup holders slide back, if you can see there, and shows you that little hidden compartment with all your connectivity. Ah, so very well equipped. The only thing it really doesn't have is a factory moonroof. Uh, it is uh, included with the upgraded Alpine stereo, as you can see on the speaker cover there as well. Let's go ahead and pop the uh, hood, give you a look underneath there. We either got a 3.2 V6 or an inline four cylinder. Since this is the S model, it very well may have a six and it does. See 3.2 liter variable valve time V6 engine Excellent output and efficiency. You see a cold air intake installed by the previous customer there as well. Um, you can see no exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks, no corrosion on the electrical terminals. All your essential fluids are uh, noted by your yellow caps, either to fill or yellow dipstick handles to check. So it makes it very easy to uh, stay on top of the maintenance of your vehicles and know where to check and maintain your essential fluids. Now, to shut this vehicle off and I explained to you how we uh, keep our uh, uh, repair history and analysis in the glove box. We always keep a copy of the auto history on the dash. So the last component of our upfront uh, model here is for me to just kind of go around, give you a cosmetic tour, show you any minor imperfections this vehicle may have. It is a used vehicle. It is going to have some, like a little chip right there in the top fender. I try to buy these vehicles absolutely as clean as possible. Um, you know, all the body lines are nice and straight. Doesn't show signs of any prior paint. Roof line looks good. A uh, couple little chips there on that rear door, as you can see. Quarter panel looks fine. Bumper fascia looks okay. A couple little chips here where you load and unload cargo. Chip there as well. A little small chips there. I haven't really noticed any dents. There's one. As soon as I said something, had to jinx myself. A little dent right there in the roof. I think that's pretty visible there. Caught it in the light. Um, but otherwise, the vehicle looks pretty straight. I haven't really noticed anything of the dent variety. Just a few little chips and minor scratches here, as I've shown you. But uh, dent wise, looks pretty good. Fender looks good. Front fascia looks fine. I mean, a little bit of bug damage, some small minor chips here that run across the front, which is pretty unavoidable, really, uh, for any vehicle that's spending any time on the road. A couple here across the front face of this hood as well. As you can see, I'll just quickly pan across and kind of point out some of the more major ones. But there you have it, guys. I mean, really a, a nice looking unit. Uh, great new car alternative. Does still have some of the remainder of Chrysler's uh, comprehensive and powertrain warranties transferable to the next owner, so you can buy this vehicle with confidence. Now, if you're interested, there's a few ways of getting a hold of us. Look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com or give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial and I wish you an excellent day.